For homework, I was working through some worksheets to practice writing the number 4. Being the high achiever that I am, I had completed 4 tracing exercises, but there seems to be a hurdle I can't overcome. If we look at the figures 1 and 2, they both exhibit a sizable image of the number 4. You can see that I've coloured in the number as per the instruction provided, but if you cast your eyes to the tracing section, some of your clever cookies might notice the irregularity as well. It's not the same 4. In figure 1, there's a right angle with a line that runs parallel. Figure 2 has a similar form, except it bisects the line in two equal parts. On the third worksheet, the angle runs through the line, just like in the previous example. However, the angle itself seems to be acute, featuring an angled left stroke. The 4 in the last worksheet also featured a slanted left stroke. And of course, the tracing exercise had a different 4, which looks like a half-finished star. With so many options and the worksheets in decisiveness in which four to use and which four to teach, I needed a break. So I turned on the TV to watch some football. Why are all the fours different? With all this stress and in a heightened emotional state, I decided to just buy a BMW. This one looks nice. And there it was again. This four looks like if the number one went to an unqualified Cairo and lost its nose. I looked for the font family they use on the website and it's called BMW Type Next Web Font. The number 4 on this typeface features an acute angle connected to a shorter line directly underneath the top of the 4. A similar style can be seen in Fallout 4's box art, the only difference being the bisection. Looking at all these variants, the 4 I recognise the most is a half finished style and seems to appear in most typefaces. It's used by Apple, Google, The Sims, Toy Story and a Ben 10 watch I found online. The only issue that comes to mind regarding this half star 4 arises when it's depicted on a 7 segment display in electronic devices. For instance, if attempting to showcase the half star 4 on the display such as those found on calculators or certain gauges, it will be indistinguishable from the number 9. As a result, an alternative depiction of 4 is displayed, resembling a Lego hand. But there's something I dislike about this Lego hand variant. The precise straight lines and angles meeting at 90 degrees makes it feel robotic. It looks like it'll taste like unseasoned chicken cooked on a pan with no oil. It just looks soulless. And speaking of soul, the variant reminded me of what a Korean character might look like. The Korean written language features a lot of straight lines and lines with 90 degree angles. So I wondered if this variant of 4 could be a character in Korean and have a separate meaning outside of the number. The only issue is I can't speak or write Korean. So instead, I reached out to Sai, but this is what he sent me. Oh, 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 oh. I thought we were on good terms. So out of options, I brute forced myself through the lyrics to Gangnam Style, hoping to find something that resembles the fall. There were a couple of close calls, including the top part of his character, which both combined means gold, or this character pronounced as Na. But both were lacking the characteristics that resemble the Lego hand fall. At this moment, I realised that perhaps the lyrics to Gangnam Style isn't going to provide me with a comprehensive list of the Korean characters. So I looked for the Lego hand on the Korean alphabet chart instead. Following the steps to write the Lego hand, a 90 degree angle and a straight line that connects, this character Ni looks almost identical to the Lego hand 4. Ni in Korean means you, so looking up how to say thank you in Korean, we can see the Lego hand once again. But something that's interesting is that in Korean, the number 4 sounds like the word for death. As a result, the number 4 carries a negative connotation or is associated with bad luck. And this belief isn't limited to Korea, but is also prevalent in East Asian cultures. Tetraphobia, stemming from the Greek roots for 4 and fear, is the practice of avoiding instances of the digit 4. This notion also holds true in Chinese, Japanese and Vietnamese cultures, as the phonetic similarity has led many to view the number 4 with unease and actively avoid it in various aspects of life. Here are some examples of tetraphobia in the real world. Missing flaws. 
In many East Asian countries, buildings often skip the fourth floor or any floor containing the number four. For instance, elevators might skip the fourth floor altogether, labeling it as 3A. The 14th floor will be named as 13A, and the 24th floor will be named as 23A. Similarly, apartment numbers or office suites that include the number 4 are often avoided or replaced with alternative numbers. But what would happen if there's a need to assign a 3 or 4 digit number that includes the number 4? Patients or guests would most likely request room changes if they find themselves assigned to such a room. If we followed the elevator rules, room 145 would become 13A5, and patient 1405 would become 13A05. But instead of this, hospitals and hotels just got rid of these rooms altogether. So in theory, room 139 could be right next to 150. Okay, so what happens when it comes to price? Can an item be sold for $4, $40, or $50.40? If I purchase dumplings and noodles, and it adds up to $14, is the meal now free? Turns out you still have to pay, but businesses will try avoid using the number 4 in pricing or marketing strategies. We can use Samsung as an example. The model number for the Samsung Galaxy S6 is SMG920X. The Samsung Galaxy S7 has the model number SMG930F. So if we follow this sequence, we can predict that the model number for the Samsung Galaxy S8 would be SMG940. But instead, the S8 has skipped a 4 and the model number was instead 950X. Speaking of X, Couples in East Asian cultures often carefully select wedding dates to avoid those that include the number 4. Further, banquet tables will also avoid having 4 guests or dishes as it is believed that starting a marriage on such a date could bring bad luck or even predict an early death for one of the partners. Instead, they opt for dates considered auspicious, such as those containing the number 8, which symbolises prosperity and good fortune. So that got me thinking, maybe that's why forks which have four prongs are not as common as the chopsticks that come in pairs. And what did people do when 4K resolution came out? Did they have to stick to 1080p? But to wrap things up, the variant of 4 one uses is determined by preference and writing styles which might differ depending on one's priorities. If an individual's priority is to get high marks on a math test, you wouldn't want to rush writing a 4 that might end up looking like a lowercase phi in the Greek alphabet. Another example is that if a teacher writes their 4s in a particular style and you know they are marking the test, it would be a safe bet just to use their style of 4. As for why there isn't a gold standard, it's probably because we can recognise and read them all the same, so there shouldn't be a need. But if you're struggling to pick a 4 and you can't decide because they're all your favourite and you love them all equally, here are some ways I like to write 4. 